All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to Haven's Magical Hutch today. We are going to have a little bit of a painting session. We're going to paint this little sun catcher. And um, we're joined by our good friends, Chase and Marshall from the Paw Patrol. They're going to help us. Uh, so join us today. We're going to go get this thing unwrapped. And then we're going to come back and get started, okay? Okay, everybody. So we got all of our paint set opened up. These are the colors that are suggested on the sun catcher back here. But, you know, we don't have to do those. We can kind of do what we want. Um, now, just, you know, I am not the world's best painter, but I'm going to try. So that's okay. We're just going to try and we're going to see how this comes out. My sister is the one who does the painting usually. So we're going to just, I'm going to give it a whirl. We're going to see what happens. Um, but these are, you know, we're going to open up our little water, watering thing first. Okay. So that's what we need. And um, so today we're just going to do, like they suggested, you know, the red and white checkered flags. So we're just going to go with red, I think. At least in, in one of them we'll go with red, and maybe if we want in another one, we can go in another color. Um, so Chase and Marshall are okay with this. Red is obviously um, a good color. So we're just going to kind of mix these up just a little tiny bit. And um, since these are so, the, um, the paints are pretty thin, so a little bit goes a long way. So we're just going to do a little dot here, okay? You can see that? That goes a pretty... So that's, that's, that paint is pretty full already, so we don't have to do too much. So we're just gonna do that, we're gonna dot every other one. Okay, and sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit longer. You just, that's okay, painting, that's part of it. It's just, it is fun and relaxing, and we're just gonna go with the painting. And we're just gonna drop a little bit in each one, right? And then it should uh, spread out and the color should get a little bit darker over time. So we should put enough in there to cover the whole thing. So we don't want to be too stingy with the coloring, right? We want to be able to tell that it was actually colored here. So we're just going to keep plugging away here. And if you don't have enough, if you feel like you don't have enough um, paint on your brush or a paint inside the paint, that's fine. Just go back and get a little bit more. It is okay. That's all we gotta do. We'll just get enough in there. This will be pretty neat when it catches the light and stuff. So this is all we're gonna do is just put this over here. And then there we go. And now we're on our last row. So this turned out pretty well. And these, some of these boxes, these um, little window panes, some of them are bigger than others. So you just kind of have to go by, you know, you think you put a lot of um, paint on your brush, but you really don't. You have to go in and kind of fill them in, but that's okay. So you can always add more, but you can never, you know, take stuff away. So that's probably a good thing to go by. Okay, now, do we want to do blue over here? Yes, blue, says Chase. All right, all right, so let's rinse our brush. And our handy dandy little water thing here. We're gonna dot it on our paper towel. We used to got some red in there. So that's how we know our brush isn't completely cleaned out. Okay, now see, it's clear. So now we're gonna go with the blue. And we're just gonna do the same thing. Over here, we're gonna start with the blue and the paint. That way, that way Chase isn't feeling left out. He still gets his color in here too. So that works really well as well. And the blue seems to be spreading a little bit easier um, in here. Of course, we've done this already on the other side, so that also helps. And again, like I said, sometimes painting just takes a little bit, but you know what? It's relaxing, and if you just want something to, if it's too hot to play outside, or if it's raining, or if it's too cold, you just think, you know what? I can do some painting. And you just take your time and you can make whatever you want, especially with watercolors. Watercolors are a blast. We did a watercolor video not too long ago here. My sister did that one. She loves to do any kind of painting and crafts and stuff. Okay, so we're on our last row here. And this should take us zero time here at all little bit more paint in these upper ones. Alright. 
Okay, anything else that we want that's blue right now? Or do we want to just kind of stick with red for the car? I think we're just going to rinse our brush out now. We're just going to do red for the car. I think that will be good. We do want, when the sun catches this, we do want a color that's going to be bright enough, you know, for it to show up. So, and again, oh, there we go. Okay, the brush went nice and clean this time. So now we're going to do the main part of the car. We're just going to do red, okay? Because I think red is a very flashy color here. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. This doesn't look too dark, but we're kind of just going to trust that when it dries, it's going to look darker. So we're going to make sure to get enough paint in there that it will definitely get darker. And again, we're just doing the main part of the car right now because we can do um, the details here. So, so this is still the main part here. And this is where it goes a lot faster because you can just paint much larger areas, you know, quickly. So, and again, with painting, you don't want to be in too much of a hurry because then it's not going to look as nice. And then when you're done, you're going to realize, oh, if only I had taken my time, it would look a little bit nicer. And remember, you do plan on hanging this stuff up in your in your house somewhere or in your playhouse or in your, you know, somewhere. So now we're going to try, it's going to be a little tricky, it looks like, to get over here. But this is another thing where you have to just kind of take your time, small brush strokes, and just kind of help that paint kind of get into these, um, these spaces that are a little tighter. Okay? So not bad. But it definitely takes a little bit more time. Okay, now, so we're going to go down here, we're going to paint down here as well, and again, you know, you can make whatever colors you want, um, you can mix a lot of these colors, we're just going along with, um, you know, the little guide over there, that's kind of what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and go down here. We're gonna paint this down here as well. And that way we'll be done when we finish. We'll be done all with one color. Um, looks like we might even be running out of red. So there is our painting so far. And we are almost to where we're gonna be mixing colors. Okay, boys and girls, so now that we've got our, our red done, we're gonna move on to painting the windshields. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do blue for that. Now while we're uh, doing the windshields and stuff and the windows of the car, we can talk about the importance of colors and primary colors versus non-primary colors and stuff like that. So right now I'm mixing, I'm just doing a blue and blue is one of our primary colors, right? Okay, so the primary colors are blue, yellow, and red, right? So they call them primary because all colors come from those, from some kind of mix, those three colors for the most part. So, uh, and even green over here, even though it's not a primary color, it comes from what two colors? That's right, blue 
and yellow. All right, so once you figure that out, you can just kind of start mixing away when it comes to your colors, right? And then it gets, starts to get fun when you start painting. You can just sort of mix whatever colors you want and you can make dark orange from your yellow and your red or you can make it a light orange, you know, just by messing with how much uh, yellow and red you mix with each other. So it turns out to be a whole lot of fun when you do that. And then we're gonna come in here and make the tires on the inside. We're gonna make those a nice blue too. Alrighty, and these are hubcaps on the inside of the tires. All right, a little bit more blue up here. Okay, so then since we're done with the blue right now, we're going to rinse it off in the water. Oh, see, I still see some blue, so it means it's not done, not done being rinsed. There we go. That's what we want. So now, let's go ahead and do the um, headlights of the car, and we'll do this part of the car, right? Like the, the um, all of these little um, lightning stripes and stuff. We'll go ahead and do that. And everyone knows that headlights are definitely, these are definitely yellow. And they're very yellow, so we all know that. Okay, so then we're gonna go up here, and we're just gonna start putting this yellow Everywhere. And this yellow, it doesn't look super bright in there, but it's coming across really well here. But again, you guys can, when you go to do your um, painting, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever colors you want. We're just trying to keep these simple, and you guys can mix, um, you know, whatever you want. We just know, like, my kids love bright colors, so they love their primary colors. They love their blues and yellows and reds, for sure. We're just gonna stick with what we like, and then that way you guys can stick with what you like. And then everybody's happy. So. And um, it doesn't take too long, you know, to do stuff like this. But like I said, if you have a nice, like, rainy day, or it's too hot, or it's too cold outside, you know, this is a perfect, painting is a perfect thing to do with watercolors of any kind. It just helps you kind of pass the time, and. A happy little way. As long as we clean up our mess afterwards, our parents should be okay. Alrighty, so that's our yellow. So I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna rinse out my brush and then we're gonna start with our other colors, okay? Alright, see that's clear, so we're done with that yellow right there. Okay, so we're done with our primary colors, which are blue and yellow and green. So we're done with those. Now we decided if we want brown tires, what do you have to mix together? You gotta mix together your yellow, your red, and just a teensiest bit, a tiny bit of green and blue. If you mix just a little bit of those in there, all of them, you get a brown. Now we didn't go for a really dark brown. Um, we went for a lighter brown, uh, but that's kind of consistent with what we're doing with the rest of the, the sun catcher here. But you guys are free to do whatever you want and paint the tires whatever color you want. But we're just gonna go ahead and do brown. Okay, and we're gonna put the brown right here um, on the outside of the tires, and that kind of came across as a little more of a, it looks brown in here, but then it looks a little, just a darker yellow in here, but you know, that's okay. It is okay, we're just gonna go with it, because sometimes when you paint, that's what you gotta do. So, and it kind of came across, I guess now that I'm kind of looking at it, it's definitely more of a golden color. So it's, you know, that should also catch the sun very nicely. So our race car here is just gonna have golden tires. That's just the way it is. So then I'm probably gonna put in a little bit more right here. Not too dark, but okay. So yeah, that kind of evened it out a little bit. Okay, so here we go. We are done with our race car. I'm gonna rinse my brush. And the next step, as Chase and Marshall know, is that we have to clean up. But you guys don't have to clean up unless you've uh, been painting along with us, which we're glad you joined us on Haven's Magical Hutch. We're going to go and clean up, and we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!